What is going on guys? Um, today I'm going to be going over some basic cribbage strategies and um, some basic things that can instantly improve your game if you apply them. And I'm going to, this is one of my favorite cribbage apps, we're going to be playing on expert difficulty and uh, I'll link the description of the app in the, de or I'll link the app in the description, sorry. Okay, let me start out with cutting. Ooh, that's a good cut. Love to get the crib first. Um, right here, I'm going to throw the twos just to keep my run. Hopefully, he threw a three. Uh, I always like to rearrange my cards. I don't know why. But he starts with a four. And honestly, our, I don't assume that our hands are very alike. So, we got lucky on a, fifth, on a 31 right there. And see, that's good. He got one point, and we got three, so we got a two points advantage there, which is always good. And right here, we're going to have 15-2 and 4-6. Oh, perfect. He did throw a three. Um, we got 15-2 with the two twos and a four. It's eight and the seven, so we got 15-2, and eight is ten. Okay. So you almost always want to keep your runs, and since we're keeping a whole bunch of face cards, I'm going to throw my 6 and my 3 into my opponent's crib, which you don't like to throw, but, oh, and it worked out perfect in our favor. But um, you don't normally want to throw a 6 and a 3 into your opponent's crib, but I always like to keep my aces. Uh, yep, he's got another 5. That's awesome. So we get 2 points to 31 there. Oh, and he gets 2 points, which is unlucky on our part. But we got 15, 2, 4, 6, 1 of 3 is 9, and Nobs is 10. See, and that's the exact reason why you don't like to throw 3 and a 6 into your opponent's crib. Because a lot of people throw away 9s, and they throw away 6s, and they throw away 3s. And you don't like to... I, don't, I hate putting 6s and 3s into my opponent's crib. So right here is kind of a unique hand, and honestly, I'm just going to throw, you can throw anything right here really besides your three aces. Uh, so you can throw your two face cards, you can throw your six face card, and honestly I'm going to throw my two face cards just to kind of give me a chance in my crib. Uh, you don't want to play an ace here, because there's a good chance that they had a 10. And right there, I mean, that was just very unfortunate. Because if I play my ace, there's a good chance that he's got a face card. And you never want to play where it ends up on 5. But at the same time, um, you play your 6. So you got a chance of him getting a run of 3 and a 15 for 5. So it's kind of just assuming what your opponent has. And it didn't really work out in our favor. But uh, Right here, we just got 6. And we cut a jack, so we get two, two more points. And we got... Four, run a run a four, which is good. Oh, sweet! So this is always good to get del a double run, especially with because right now I got twelve points, so that's always good to see. And I led with my seven there, my because I since I had a pair of sevens, I led with my seven there, because if he pairs me, I'm gonna lay down that other seven, and then I get six points, and he gets two. And also, if I lay down that seven and he lays down an 8, I can either pair him, because he would lay down an 8 to get 15, and I can either pair him for 23, which normally you don't want to do, because if he has another 8, then he's going to get 31 plus 6 points for 3 of a kind. Um, but at that same time, you can you play down a 7, he lays down an 8, and you can lay down your 9 for 24 and a run of 3, which is good. So I'm just going to play my... 9 there, which you don't want to play 26, but, oh, perfect, we get a run of 3. Right here, we got 12. Let's see what we give him in his crib. Sweet! You'd love to see you only giving your opponent 2 points in the crib. Minimize the amount of points your opponent has. This is a pretty, ooh, see, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to do it, but I'm not, I'm not going to, but I always like having 4 of the same suit. I love having 4 of the same suit. Um, it almost rarely ever happens, and that is an awesome cut for us. Uh, right here, I'm just going to leave with my queen, which some people can argue, but the reason why I did that was so I can play jack, and that, this is the exact reason why I, lived, I played my queen instead of my jack, so that I can get a triples. And 
then I just got eight, seven, or eight points, actually, from that, which was awesome. And here we're going to have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and Nod's is 17. Oops. 17, I think. And here we're going to have 15, 2, 4, 6, and a run of 3 is 9. Sweet. So that put us in a really good position. Right here, a lot of people are going to throw like 3-6 just to keep their um, two points. And with how, when you throw a, ja a face card, you're taking away two points basically. But in this situation, I like keeping my chances of getting a double run. And perfect. Wow, I cannot believe that, that actually worked. But that's the main reason why I kept my sixes was for a double run, which is what I got. And I don't want to play, I don't, when, since he laid down a phase card, I'm going to assume he's got a 5, and I don't want to play um, 26, which he doesn't have a 5. But. So here we got 2, 4, 6, and 8 is 14, and Nobs is 15, which is an awesome hand. We might even skunk him. See, and right here, with how my pegs where my pegs are it's almost better for me because i'm going for the skunk you should always you always want to beat your opponent as bad as you can you know and that's what i'm going for right here and right now i can't because i've got eight nine ten jack queen and i almost always want to throw that in my cred and i got hit with a double run which you love to see um I'm, i like going nine there uh, I'm glad I didn't play my six. And he has king, five, and now he just laid down a three. So I'm going to assume he's either going to have a two, four, or another face card. Because with three, five, king, it's a good chance he's going to have a run. It's a good chance he's going to keep his two and his three and his five for 15s. But basically, I'm going to assume that he has a four or a two. So, and I, I'm screwed either way, so I'm just going to play that. And he doesn't, which is lucky. He got six points in his hand, but I've got 15, 2, and 8 is 10. Which I'd love to see, and I think we should skunk him. 15, 2, that's all we needed. Sweet, guys. Hopefully this, is, this was um, helpful, and we skunked him, which you love to see. And hopefully... You know, you guys can pick up some of the strategies and the way they, to think, kind of, when you're playing. And if you guys um, like videos like this and you'd like more tips and more strategies in cribbage, you know, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.